Welcome everybody to another YouTube exclusive Voice of Nick episode. We're gonna be playing more Danganronpa and let's see what we can do with our free time when given the opportunity to spend it. Now, uh, I don't really know <laughs> what my plan is this time, but we'll take a look at who's around. Uh, hmm. We wanna try and find people who we haven't, uh, maxed out yet, I guess. Kitchen, dining hall. Hmm. Maybe Celeste. It doesn't look like anybody else is around. So now, do we have Celeste's thing? Ultimate Gambler. We we have one max SP up from her, but we don't have uh, her actual thing. Sakura, we have max X SP up. <laughs> Special ability, Ultimate Writing Prodigy and Murderous Fiend. We don't have a. We do have a skill from her. Kyoko? Ultimate question mark? Maybe we should hang out with Kyoko. <coughs> She's around in the hallway somewhere. Where are you, Kyoko? There you are. Did you need something from me? Huh? Should I talk to Kyoko for a while? Soreva. I suppose a change of pace is necessary sometimes. Eva. Fine then, why don't we take a little break? I spent some time with Kyoko doing nothing in particular. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. Hmm, I don't know what she would want. Oh! I almost messed that up. Um, that's a Zul's diamond. We don't want to do that one. Glasses? I don't know what she would want. The scarf? Chinchilla cover? This one we could probably give to Byakuya if he ever wants to. Hmm, maybe this thing? It's like a, a tech object, Kirlian camera. Hmm. I'm gonna say that's probably it. No, that one's... We have a lot of stuff that we could probably give to, uh... The guy who believes in ghosts and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna say that we want to give Kyoko... Let's give her the Kirlian camera. This is something you don't see too often. D do you mind if I keep it? I'd like to take a closer look at it. Does that mean that uh, she liked it? Quiet as ever. I guess she doesn't like to waste her words. Hey, uh, Kyoko? If you're expecting a conversation, don't. There's no need for it. 
But I mean, don't you think talking is important? I feel like if we're gonna get out of here, we all need to be on the same page. And to do that, we need to get to know each other. <laughs> you could certainly make the argument that forming friendships may help prevent killings. <laughs> but are you asking for some kind of deep connection? Uh, <laughs> you could just be deceiving us, pretending to be everyone's friend so you can gather information. Uh, no, that's not... <laughs> well then, let's do a quick test, shall we? A test? <laughs> If you're as gung-ho on friendship as you claim, this should be an easy question. Oh, okay, I just have to answer your question, is that it? Yeah. Are you ready? You consider Hina one of your friends, yes? Yeah? If that's true, what is her ultimate ability? Well, that's an easy one. She's uh, swimming. Nice body is one of the choices. Hina's the ultimate swimming pro, of course. So. Well, asked and answered. Yara? Then your pleas of camaraderie are true. Well, of course. <laughs> yes, of course. Such a foolishly open person as you could never lie. Everyone would know right away. Again with that foolishly open stuff. Yeah. Okay then, as promised, what would you like to know about me? Oh, uh, let's see. W what school did you go to before you came here? Soreba. Before I came here? I guess I was living abroad. Abroad? Was it an exchange program or did your parents work overseas or something? My parents? I suppose. Why well, the question mark? Anyway, okay. So she was living abroad because of her dad's job. What kind of work does he do? Foreign government? Top secret clearance? More question marks? Okay, so he does top secret work for other governments. All I can think of is... Assassin? <sighs> I kept up my end of the deal. <laughs> this should be enough, right? I'm leaving now. <laughs> she left without even waiting for a reply. She's so full of mystery. And hearing what she had to say just added even more mystery on top of everything. Kyoko's report card has been updated based on your experience. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Dang it. I want skills. Once we were done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Huh? There's something by the door. Oh. This piece of paper, it looks like someone must have slipped it under my door. Meet in the dining hall. The handwriting is really good. Let's want to meet up so suddenly. Who wrote it and why? What's the point of calling me out like this? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out now. Yes, there is a way. That's a great way to get killed, Makoto. Anybody around right now? Nope, nobody. Why don't you at least tell someone where you're going? I guess I could do that, but I didn't. <laughs> Alright, who is it? I'm guessing it was Kyoko. Oh, it's him. Oh, Makoto. Hero, the letter I found in my room? Yep, I wrote it. Your handwriting is really nice. Well, I was always taught that if you had bad penmanship, a ghost would come and haunt you. Who taught you that? And why did you want to meet with me? Mm. Oh, I just did what Kyoko asked me. Kyoko? Jisai. I'm just an errand boy on this one. Mm. Anyway, what do you say to a late night bath session? Huh? Dabe. Okay, let's do it. N no, I, I was totally lost. The hero grabbed me by the shoulder, pulled me close and whispered into my ear. It's all an act, so the mastermind won't notice. Everyone's waiting in the bathhouse. What? Then, did Alderico finish his search? You got it, Hiro. Let's take a dip together. I was probably louder than I needed to be. But me and Hiro hurried to the dressing room. Wow. As soon as I got to the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. Oh, hey, you! How long were you going to keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. <sighs> it's almost 10 o'clock. You know that? Bedtime for all the good little boys and girls. <laughs> Shut up. What'd you say? You want me to make you cry, little girl? <laughs> Taka, he seems to be even worse off than I'd heard. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow a personality. <laughs> what? You got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours, you know that? <laughs> How rude. A maggot like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven-sent master. <laughs> uh, are you back to your normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. 
Just shut up. My, my. Well, anyway, everyone's here, right? Then my messenger duty is complete. Oy. You wanted us all to meet here, right, Kyoko? So what are we doing here? No, not Isn't it obvious? It's got to have something to do with Alter Ego, right? So yeah, totally. Did he finally find a clue? What is it? A way out? The mastermind's true identity? Hmm. Oh, whoops. Leaving isn't going to do any good. I should probably ask Kyoko what's going on. <laughs> Ugh, you're such a jerk. Why am I a jerk? Well, what do you want? Am I the only one that sh you should be talking to right now? Mm -hmm. This may be about alter ego, but Kyoko seems to be acting kind of strange. <gasps> a clue, a clue. We finally found a clue. Come on, we gotta ask Kyoko what it is. <laughs> it is nearly nighttime, is it not? If we absolutely must converse, I would like at least to do it quickly. Hmm. Kyoko sure is taking her sweet time with this. Is whatever that is really amazing? <laughs> I'm curious as well, so long as it's not boring. Like I said, it's almost 10. Hurry up and spill it. I should probably ask Kyoko what's going on before anything else. What? I'm trying. Oh, we clicked on the locker. It's gone. Gone. I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered... Alter Ego, the laptop, has disappeared. Wh what? What? You're kidding, right? Huh? What? She's... gone? You can't be fudging serious. What'd you do with him? Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we're up to? I, I told Alter Ego to yell if anyone had he didn't recognize appeared. If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Maybe we just missed it. I was in the laundry room right next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. But if it wasn't the mastermind, then the solution to this particular mystery is obvious. It could have been him. Mr. Ishimaru, you stole it, didn't you? What? I'm the ultimate moral compass. I would never do something like that. But I don't think when it... That accounts when you say it about yourself like that. You're the suspicious one here. You're nothing but a big jiggling sack of fat. Shows what you know. This isn't my true form. I still have three more transformations left. Uh, wait, I mean, it, it wasn't me. Everyone knows you're the thief. Wrong, it's you. Well, I'm sure it was one of you. So whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. No, there's no way either of them did it. Huh? Why not? I told Alter Ego to yell if either Taka or Hifumi came into the dressing room. Uh, what? <sighs> it was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. <sighs> but I never heard any yell. <sighs> exactly, which means it wasn't them. <sighs> well then, who was it? <sighs> the fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the mastermind and it wasn't Taka or Hifumi, then quite simply, it was someone else. <laughs> Makoto, oh, Celeste, Sakura, Hina, Toko, or myself. One of them, one of us must be the thief. Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? <laughs> well, how about this for a reason? There's a traitor among us. Huh? <laughs> one of us is working for the mastermind, a spy. And that's the one who stole Alter Ego. Can you deny the possibility? It, it can't be. <laughs> I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might be a spy among us. The mastermind brought someone in to keep things moving smoothly. A spy for the mastermind, a traitor? No, it's impossible. Something that horrible? There's no way. Nanda. Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? <laughs> I don't care. I don't care who, someone, anyone, save her. Please rescue her. I'm begging you. I just want to see a smiling face again. <laughs> Same here. How many times do they have to kill bro before they're happy? I'll beg, I'll scrape my head across the ground, just please give him back. Uh, uh, no, this is pretty messed up, but still, I think I kind of get how they feel. I think Alter Ego is most likely safe for the moment, at least. If they wanted to destroy it, they wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. So you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him. Something else. That, that doesn't matter. Nothing, nothing else matters. No matter what it takes, I'm going to get him back. That's my promise as a man. I swear I'll save it. 
using the power of love. It's night time. It is unfortunate, but we'll have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone get some sleep. How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. What good are you if you're too tired? You'll be much more effective after a good night's sleep. Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here! Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste, Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makoto? I agree with you. If we run around tonight in a panic, the mastermind is sure to notice, and we won't get anything done. Taka, Hifumi, I know how you feel right now, but it's best if just for tonight you can try to endure it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, then let us part for today. We'll begin our search for Alter Ego in the morning. <laughs> and you should think about what I said. Someone may be very well trying to spy for the mastermind. Hmm. Alter Ego, gone as quickly as he had appeared. We'd finally discovered some small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us, and we couldn't even put up a fight. We were given hope, and then... That hope was taken away when that and then that hope was We were given hope and then when that hope was taken away, despair. It's just like just like what the mastermind is doing to us. Then could it really be true? Whoever stole Alter Ego, could they really be working for the mastermind? If that's true. No, it can't be. There's no way. I didn't even realize I'd yelled it out loud. The scary thing is, isn't the idea of someone spying on us. What's really scary is the idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. That scares me more than anything. Damn it! I threw myself into bed, trying to shake off all those unsettling thoughts. Before long, I fell into a restless sleep. Murder is a word whose definition changes with time, with place, with society. If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have, must have been abnormal. Hmm. Today, we have to look for Alter Ego. Okay, first things first, to the dining hall. I found myself in surprisingly high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. But when I found out what was waiting for me, Is this it? What happened to the others? Mm. Aren't they coming? There were only three people in the dining hall. Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So including me, only four people? Mom. God, this is why I hate people who take their sweet time with everything. Sorry. Anyway, let's wait a little while for the others. So we decided to wait, in case anyone else showed up. But no matter how long we waited... <laughs> so it's 8 o'clock. We've been waiting here a full hour. Mm -hmm. Why haven't the others come? <laughs> Hiro and Celeste have never missed a day till now. What I'm worried about is Hifumi and Taka. They were more eager than anyone to look for Alter Ego, and they ain't here. <laughs> Something must have happened. Huh? I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. But Monokuma gave us a motive. There was no way something wouldn't happen eventually. Monokuma's motive. Yeah, 
もし卒業生が出た場合のプレゼントにしますどう100億円だよ100億円もうウハウハでしょう Don't tell me someone did something for money. That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. I already understood. I understood, and I hated that I did. You can never really know another person completely. Anything can happen here, and you can't consider it strange. Not really. No. We need to go look for people who never showed up.、Mm. Uh, okay, let's go track them down. Without another word, we left the dining hall. No. We can cover more ground if we split up. Sakura, you check the dorms. Make sure to check all of our rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second. Yes. Okay, then I guess I'll check the third. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call for help right away. I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Okay, let's go. Anxiety was written across each of our faces as we went our separate ways. Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. Okay, I need to look around the first floor. See, this seems like a good way to get yourself killed. Searching for clues? Haven't you ever seen a horror movie? Okay, the hotel is. We can't go in there. I wonder what happens if we click it. I was assigned the first floor of the school. I need to start there. Hmm. Same text from before. Oh! Simon, come here! What? That was Hina! She's supposed to be checking the third floor. There was no time to think. I was running for the stairs before I knew what was happening. I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away, I saw her standing there in the hallway.、Oh, oh, uh, Makoto! Hina, what's wrong? It, it, it's awful! The rec room door was open, and, and when I looked inside, I saw. I saw. What did you see? Well, I'd better get the others, right? I, I'm gonna go get them. You go on ahead, Makoto. Before I could do anything, she was rushing downstairs. The rec room, what did she see in there? By this point, I was used to acting without thinking. So, without thinking, I leapt into the rec room. Uh oh. First thing I saw when I got in the rec room was. <laughs> It was Celeste, and she was hurt. Oh. What the heck is that? Did you hit him with a mallet? What is this? Some kind of wooden hammer or something? Pretty strange design. A justice hammer? There's some writing on the head. Justice hammer one? That is the hammer he attacked me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. Oh, I now curse my lack of. Daily exercise. So you were attacked with this? Justice Hammer 1. I don't have time to think about this. A dartboard. I don't have time to think about this. It's a shelf full of magazines. They're all kind here, but I don't have time now to look at them. Looks like some kind of decoration, but I don't have time to think about it. But what do you have time to think about? A locker? Nope. Sure don't. Othello? I don't have time to think about this. I love this. I don't have time to think about tables. I don't have time to think about couches. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. Right now it's just showing the school crest. But I can't worry about that right now. Oh, got a different piece of dialogue for that one. Even now, the mastermind's probably on the other side of that surveillance camera, but I can't worry about it right now. <laughs> Alright, l we'll talk to you. <laughs>、uh, Makoto! Celeste, what happened? I was stupid. I got attacked. Attacked by who? <laughs> I'm not sure. Some sort of strange man. Strange man? 
A suspicious person whose existence is so unusual, I can't help but call him strange. Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. And that man attacked me with the hammer on the ground there. Makoto, Celeste! Yes? I found Sakura. <gasps> Celeste, what on earth happened here? Apparently she was attacked by some kind of strange man. Mm -hmm. A strange man? Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. <laughs> well, I woke up this morning a little before 7 a.m. Nighttime was not yet over. But I knew it was about to end, so I decided I would be, it would be okay if I... Well, if I decided to take a stroll around the first floor. I understand now that that was a mistake. Anyway, that is where I first saw the strange man. I was immediately wary of him. He was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow him after him in secret. As I followed, I saw him go into the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door, which is when he noticed me and... And that's when you were attacked. It happened after 7 a.m., just after night time had ended. So if it happened after 7 o'clock... <laughs> Then that was just about an hour ago, right when we were all meeting in the dining hall. <laughs> the attack caused me to lose consciousness, which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. Demo. Well, I'm just glad you weren't hurt too badly. Well, that's because I begged and groveled for my life. Mm -hmm. You did. Watakushi. I told him I would do anything if he spared me. I offered to lick his boots, whatever it took. Shok. So you were willing to throw away all your pride. <laughs> it's a necessary skill for survival. Anyway, the important thing is that we go search for the suspicious individual. Celeste doesn't have any wounds on her anymore. <laughs> I guess they didn't program that in onto this character portrait version. If we do not hurry, this could become a serious problem. Celeste, what do you mean a serious problem? <laughs> when I looked in the rec room, I saw that the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him Hifumi. <laughs> Hifumi? <laughs> After he attacked me, he dragged Hifumi away. <laughs> You mean Hifumi was kidnapped? Mm. Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Celeste, did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? Did anything stand out? Well, rather than trying to explain it, it would probably be faster if I simply showed you. Show us? Mm. This is Hifumi's hand-me-down, his digital camera. You don't mean... I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing it. Seriously? Let's see it. <laughs> I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. With that strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. What? Huh? What? Well, you're definitely right about the strange part. The face is totally covered. Is that a robot costume? As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual, yes? So this weird robot guy, he dragged Hifumi away? And I took this right after being attacked. In other words, a full hour ago. Which is why if we don't hurry, it could become a serious problem. Shulk. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no, there's much I don't understand, but... Hmm. The point is, someone dressed like that dragged Hifumi away. And it happened over an hour ago. What the? This is bad, we gotta hurry! Celeste, do you know where this mysterious man went? <laughs> when they left the rec room, they headed left. <laughs> if that's true, they were headed towards the stairs leading down to the second floor. Then he must be down there, right? Mm. The second floor, that's where Kyoko was supposed to be. Huh. Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Mm. Sorry, I, I didn't have time to go look for her. Mazina. This is bad. If the strange man did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into it. We have to hurry. Kyoko's in danger. As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed to the room, out of the room and down to the second floor. Damn, guys. Hey, you two. Nanda. What's going on? What's all the fuss? Whoa! Yeah, you guys playing a game or something? Ah, does it freaking look like we're playing a game? Listen, have I never you seen Kyoko or Hifumi? Nope, nope, sure haven't. Are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. I heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna go searching for Kyoko and for the suspicious man and for Hifumi and for whoever's inside the suspicious costume, if anyone, on the next episode. Thank you guys for joining the show. Uh, this is another YouTube exclusive, so make sure you're subscribed on the YouTube channel if you want to see more. These come out every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, and I will see you for the next one, guys. Bye-bye.